Hello again, thanks for joining me. I'm Tara and uh, this is out in our garden today. Today we're going to harvest some Jerusalem artichokes, also known as sunchokes. And they're a tuber and they're actually related to the sunflower family. Uh, they're also particularly good for diabetics because they're high in inulin and contain no starch. They're super tasty and I actually enjoy them a lot more than potato. So uh, we'll get to harvesting them, but first I'll introduce you to my man. This is Liam. Hello. <laughs> and he's going to use the trusty fork to dig them up. So this was the plant. They grow quite tall and they have flowers on them that look like uh, small sunflowers. But um, it's, as you can see, dying off now, which is ideal time to harvest. So we're just coming down here. Liam's got the fork. And I planted one bulb uh, for this plant and it's grown, as you can see, into one tall plant. And they're coming up quite clean too. This is our second harvest. It's best to keep them in the ground until you're ready to eat them. I can do that. I'll put this over here. So just using the fork and it is amazing how many uh, Jerusalem artichokes you can harvest from one plant. So you can get your hands in there. Feels so good to get your hands in the dirt. I'm digging up the beautiful artichokes. And they usually spread out quite a distance too, so they can be sort of up to half a meter to a meter around the actual plant. And um, another good tip is to pinch the flowers off. Uh, it helps the harvest or the yield um, increase. So, and you can put those flowers in the lovely vase. It's probably one of the only vegetables I'll pinch the flowers off because uh, I usually not like to keep the flowers on for the bees. And there you go, Liam's just pulled the root of the plant up and this is what we are harvesting. Woo! So exciting! You can see them all in here. And I keep a few as well to plant for next year. You've got to keep them uh, in some dry sand in the fridge. They're best planted in spring and harvested in autumn. Wow, that's great. You can see how the Jerusalem artichoke breaks up the soil so beautifully. They're, so, so they're really um, beneficial for the garden to um, prepare the soil for other crops. They loosen all the soil. We're getting the garden bed ready now for growing some beetroot. Uh, we also like to plant by the moon. We're experimenting with that. Um, and I planted these Jerusalem artichokes at the right time for root crops and it's now time for that today so we're going to plant some beetroots in place of um, some of where the Jerusalem artichokes were growing. So I brought our harvest of Jerusalem artichokes upstairs with a few other things that we picked today and I'm about to weigh them. And here we go from that one plant we have harvested 2.6 kilos of gorgeous Jerusalem artichokes. I did wash them down a little bit, but most of them are pretty clean. So a couple of ways that we really enjoy eating these Jerusalem artichokes is one, we have them roasted. I just drizzle coconut oil over them, a bit of salt and pepper, and pop them in the oven. And they are really delicious like that. And another way is just simply steaming them and then putting them in the food processor or you can mash them by hand and um, just whip them up to their nice and smooth. Add a drizzle of olive oil, some garlic if you like, fresh herbs and um, serve them up. So delicious. And you can eat them raw. They're really crisp and crunchy like a carrot. And um, you can grate them up into salads. So, 
I hope you get to grow some Jerusalem artichokes. I'll just finish eating first. Stay tuned and I'll let you know um, about the new website that's coming up showing you more. So thanks again for joining Liam and I in our garden and see you next time for our other video. Thanks. See, see you. Ya. May you have a wholesome and happy life.